Um, welcome, everybody. Thank you all for turning out on such a, a, a typical uh, wet, grey uh, British day um, uh, to help launch Ben's uh, new book, uh, which he's going to tell us all about in a minute. And I understand there are about 200, last count, 200, possibly now more people online uh, watching this. So um, uh, great turnout. Thank you all very much uh, for that. Um, my name's John Young. I head up the RAPID program here in ODI. Uh, which uh, works on, um, does research advisory and practical work on the interface between research and policy. And I first got interested in complexity theory. Uh, in about 2003, I read James, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Gleick, mm -hmm. Gleick's book, uh, Chaos, The Amazing Science of the Unpredictable, which I thought was fantastic. And Ben joined ODI shortly after that, uh, in 2003, and I thought this is something that we really ought to do something about, particularly on... Uh, uh, on the work that we do in RAPID, the interface between research and policy. And we started working on that together. Since then, of course, Ben's gone on and worked with uh, dozens of development and humanitarian uh, organisations, including UN agencies, NGOs, the Red Cross, uh, government agencies, and has vastly expanded uh, the scope uh, of, of the book, um, uh, as, is, as, uh, as is clear if you've read it, or will become clear when he tells us about it. He remains an ODI research associate. He's also a visiting fellow at the Institute of Development Studies at Sussex, and a senior research associate at the London School of Economics. And it's brilliant to have him back. We've been talking about this book for about the last seven years, and it's fantastic to see it in print uh, and, and, and such a great book. We also have a fantastic panel of discussants who are probably all so well known uh, in uh, international development circles. They probably need no introduction, but I'm going to introduce them anyway, particularly for the online audience. Alison Evans, of course, director of ODI from 2009 until April this year. She's an economist uh, with huge experience in southern and eastern Africa, Southeast Asia and the Balkans. That was news to me. Um, but also a, a pragmatist with a very strong interest in how to get um, uh, uh, the results of research uh, into uh, development policy and practice and is a frequent advisor uh, to uh, senior decision makers across bilateral and multilateral development systems. On my left, uh, Duncan Green, uh, author of the book From Poverty to Power and the influential blog of the same uh, name, uh, currently running Complexity Week. Uh, very exciting. If you haven't logged in, log in and look at that. Uh, and Oxfam GB's senior strategic advisor. He was Oxfam's head of research, I think, from 2004 to 2012. And Owen Bader, again, very well-known, senior fellow at the Centre for Global Development and director uh, for Europe, also a prolific blogger, uh, policy advisor to UK's uh, Department for International Development uh, and many others. So fantastic book, fantastic speaker, fantastic panel. Um, a chair who spent some time wondering whether we should try and apply the principles of chaos theory in managing or not managing the meeting uh, and see what emerged. But actually, we are going to try and manage it not least because it's important that there's enough time at the end uh, to hear from you and to hear from our, our, our online uh, watchers. So just before we get started, a few uh, housekeeping things. Uh, the event is on the record. It's being streamed live, so what you say is out there forever. If the fire alarm sounds, go that way and out the front door. Uh, please turn off your mobile phone if you haven't already. Uh, and. Um, uh, there are publications outside about uh, uh, ODI's work, RAPID's work, and you can buy copies of the book at a fantastically discounted price uh, of £20. And if and when you do get to speak, and speakers, you'll get to speak first, uh, we have to speak into the microphones uh, because uh, otherwise our online audience um, can't hear what we're saying. We have two hours, but we want to leave half an hour at the end for drinks and sort of uh, social networking. I was going to say social intercourse, but I always feel fine, <laughs> a bit uncomfortable. Anyway, social networking outside. So we're going to try and run up until um, 6.30. We'll have about 45 or 50 minutes with the speakers, um, and then hopefully uh, uh, at the same again, roughly, for uh, contributions from the floor, and then we'll go out outside there. And I don't think I've forgotten anything, so uh, Ben. 